Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to take care of my nails. I can have a preview of the set which we will create today. I hope you will learn something new and you will really enjoy this tutorial, so let's start! So that's a blingy set which we are going to create today. I had some blink set before, uh, the snails as well, uh, so it's a nice uh, going from blink to blink. And we are going to use a white French gel to do some baby boomer on the snails and then some sparkles. So I'm using some old brush just to apply this uh, product into the nail. So I'm kind of work messy to start with, just a slap on uh, a tiny bit of the uh, white gel. And then using a makeup sponge, which is on top of the form, I'm going to start blending it. So I'm just blending this in. It's a really quick way of uh, doing a uh, baby boomer. Normally I would use the milky pink uh, because the blending is much nicer. But I like the perfect rules on my nails, so this is a slightly darker gel. Uh, which makes the blending more difficult, but I'm not fast because we are going to sprinkle it with some glitter on top of it uh, So it will look still uh, very nice and beautiful Okay, so once the first layer is on, uh, it looks quite nice uh, already. I'm going to give it a cure It's a really quick uh, way of doing uh, those nails and I like those blink like if you if you look in the camera you can see it there is also some glitter showing through it. Okay, once the first layer is cooked, we can take the brush and apply the second layer. So the second layer is going to be more visible. Like, I want my end to be more pigmented. Don't do straight line, because if you do the straight line, um, it's harder to blend it. Uh, so I quite like to apply it in a messy way. And then taking the sponge again, we are going to blend it a bit more. Don't go too high because you are going to have much more product this time. And if you do, uh, then you lose those nice transition between the pink and the white. If you start feeling it's getting messy and you get bits and pieces, just touch the sponge on the piece of form uh, to remove any dirt which might be on the sponge. Usually I do it in a three layers and what is nice like I work one hand, other hand, one hand, other hand uh, So it's a really quick way of doing a um, uh, baby boomer, but Let me tell you so first of all uh, I'm using the white French gel and it's so highly pigmented that the sponge doesn't absorb it I wouldn't even try to attempt it with the gel polish guys because you will the gel polish is much more thinner consistency So first of all you will create lots of air bubbles which will be very annoying for you. And then secondly, uh, the product wouldn't uh, blend as nice. Uh, so you really want something which is really highly pigmented, like a paint on gels. Uh, don't use it, the gel polish. Okay, and now just the end again. But I'm going lower this time. And using the sponge, I'm just blending this medium part. I'm trying to even don't touch the product, which is uh, on the, uh, at the end of the nails, and then cure them. So basically, that's what be the baby boomer finished. If you're really fancy, you could go uh, next time just like over it without of extra product. Uh, 
to get even more pigmented results. I'm just going to cook them. Okay, just a couple seconds longer and then I will check if, if that's plenty for me. Uh, yeah, that looks quite decent. Yeah, let's be fussy, I will do just one more touch. One more touch. They are my nails, so I can be fussy. <laughs> I don't like um, doing the nails which are um, rebalanced, like the fresh set is always much nicer. But I had to rebalance them, and my natural nails are really, really long now. Okay, that's plenty. I'm not too fast, uh, to be honest, because we are going to put some glitter over it anyway. So, cook a couple seconds, and then I've got sugar here. We've got a few different sugars, guys. Uh, some of them is like a snow effect. So you can see it, the snow effect is uh, having no sparkle in it. Um, it's just like a one, um, uh, one plain white color. And then we had some sugar too. So that will be a sugar too. And then we've got a new sugar in, uh, and that's a multicolor sparkle. And that's what I'm going, oh, and that's what I'm going to use. So using the old top coat, got some old top coat in here, like really old. And uh, I'm going to just for a quickness, I'm going to dip in the brush into those glitter. Okay. So dip in the brush into this glitter, and what? <laughs> And what I love about it is that it has those multicolor sparkle in there. So beautiful. And you can just dose it like you can apply a little bit, you can apply a lot of it, whatever you fancy. Because it's a glitter, um, once I cure it, I'm going to apply another top coat and buff it gently. You wouldn't have to really um, because it's a very fine glitter so it doesn't work like a glitter encapsulation. You're almost kind of creating your own glitter gel polish uh, doing this way but I am just like to do it for an extra smoothness. They look quite nice even just like this to be honest. Okay, so just dose the glitter. That also looks pretty uh, on top of any other color. It looks pretty on top of the French manicure and any other options which comes to your head. So as you can see it, I've got some bits and pieces which looks a little bit rough uh, and uh, that's why I'm going to buff it as well. But in order to buff it and don't overfile the glitter, you have to give it a cure, clean this mess, and then I'm going to use the top coat to get another layer over it. Um, it doesn't take, believe me guys, like it doesn't take really as long as it sounds. Um, I'm doing obviously all the recoloring live, so I'm just applying a top coat straight away over it. Nice and thin layer. And the buffing is going to be like basically a couple scratches. First of all, it will make your nails nicer looking. And then secondly, um, you will get a really nice and smooth effect as well on that. So the top coat is in. And now I can properly cure it. So 60 seconds cure. Okay, and then when my nails are curing, I'm going to grab some crystals and the base gel. So I've got the back of the form, some base gel. And we are going to get ready for a crystals application, just to save the time. Very at the end, so that's why I'm just putting the bottle upside down. Perfect. Okay, so I can buff those nails. I'm using the buffer. And I'm just going with the buffer quickly over the snails. Just to smooth them out. 
And because we've got top coat over the glitter, you don't have to worry that you will overfile it. Just giving a couple scratches to the free edge. Okay, and that's them all buffed. So you can see it, it doesn't take a really long time and it's also give your nails a nice uh, smoothness, especially that they have been on for so long the previous set, so it's always much more difficult to get a nice shape out of them. Clean it and let's apply the crystals. So I will show you on those two and then do the rest of my own because it's a simple crystal application. Using some old brush we are going to apply, we line with the base gel. And then here a double line. Grab the gem picker. And apply those crystals in. We want them in a nice straight line. I don't like too many crystals in a one pot because then it's much more difficult to place them. I kind of pick them. Make sure they're really nice and straight because there is nothing worse than the crystals which are wonky. And here straight away too. We've got those gem pickers available on our website as well and they're awesome. It's a definitely a must-have for every nail tech. I cannot live without of mine. So much blink. I actually feel like I should blink something in the house as well with those crystals. Okay, let's move them. Usually when you're working at the close to the free edge, uh, before you place the last crystals, check uh, if you need to make them more spare or you need to tighten them a little bit so you can squeeze an extra crystal because you don't want the last crystals to be going outside the needle because that may cause the, mm, them to fall out. The previous set I had it, um, it was the pink needles. Um, with some pink crystals, I had them on for a really long time and I actually didn't lose any, no, I did lose, I'm lying, I lose one crystal from the thumb and I have overfiled one crystal from this place, uh, from my index finger. Um, but usually they can last me a really amazing time. So basically that's the crystals on, on those nails. Uh, I can give it a cure. It's going to be even a 10 seconds cure uh, and then we can apply the top coat. So this time I'm going to use the decent top coat, not the old one. And using a decent top coat, we are going to apply it on the entire needle and going really well around your crystals. Like you want to make sure 
this top I kind of even shake my top coat look guys uh, I really shake my top coat so it can get in between those crystals if you diff if you're scared you might touch the cuticles um, when you've got crystals on you can uh, use a small brush to do this um, and work around the cuticles or around the crystals but I'm really going in there and on the last crystals I'm applying a little bit uh, more top coat See, that's what I was saying, like if you're scared, you touch the cuticles, use a small brush. And if this is one of the first videos you are watching, uh, you have to go back and check some previous videos. There is nearly, nearly 600 tutorials on this channel, uh, lots of different ideas uh, and tutorials for you. But Oh gosh, my hands. Okay, you can see it like how nicely I'm going to zoom it and how nicely the sparkle goes on it and how nice the glitter underneath uh, shine through it uh, as well. Really awesome results. So I'm going to cook them and then do the rest on my own because uh, basically that's that's how they look when, when they finish. So nothing over the top. Uh, I know they are so blink, but it's still nothing over the top, guys. Uh, nice and nice and universal set which goes every with everything i hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial and i'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now <laughs>